Hey guys, it's CNPC Sim. I'm sorry if I'm having some audio problems right now, like if it sounds kind of messed up, I apologize. Um, I'm using my high def camera and my microphone, so I, I don't know why I'm having some problems, but I am kind of, so I'm sorry. Anyways, I am back with part two of my um, clothing tutorial. And that tutorial today is how to change the alpha of an outfit. I won't explain what the alpha is right now because I'll be here for a couple minutes explaining it to you. So, yeah, anyways, um, you're going to only need two things. You're going to need the Sims 2 Body Shop, which comes with your game. And you're going to need an editing program such as GIMP or Photoshop. Um, you cannot use Microsoft Paint. That's the only editing program you cannot use. So, is there anything else I need to add? Nope. <laughs> Let's get started. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is open up our Body Shop program. And to do that, you're going to go to your Start menu, and you're going to click All Programs, All Programs. <laughs> And you're going to scroll down to your EA Games folder, and here it's going to show you all the expansion packs you have downloaded. You're going to click on your most recently downloaded expansion pack, and you're just going to click the Sims 2 Body Shop. I recommend pinning it to your start menu just so it's easier to find. I don't like having to go into my folders to open it up. So Now, depending on how much custom content you have downloaded onto your computer, may take a few minutes to um, to open. Mine will. Mine does take a few minutes to open. So I'll be back when it fully. Uh, so once your body shop program loads, we're going to go to create parts, start new project, create clothing, every day, and tops. So now we're going to open up the um, shirt that I previously used in my last clothing tutorial, which was this white tank top. I'm going to click Export Selected Textures and just name it whatever you want so you can find it. And you click Accept and it will export and it will say your textures are saved to blah 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 blah. So now we're going to have to open up our editing program. I am using GIMP. Um, it's free and it's exactly like Photoshop in every single way, so I highly recommend using that program. Um, I included the download link in the description box so you guys can download it as well. Um, like I said earlier, the only editing program you cannot use is Microsoft Paint. You can use any other program except for Microsoft Paint. So let's open up our editing program. And mine might take a second, so I'll be back. And we are loaded up. Ah, hello. Okay. So what we're going to do now is go to File and Open. Okay. And you're going to go to Documents, EA Games, EA Games, <laughs> The Sims 2, and Projects. And you're just going to open up the clothing that you named. And you're going to open up the second file right here, which is the top standard matte base texture name alpha, or the black and white picture. Okay, so this is our alpha. The job of the alpha basically is to um, determine how much or how little of your shirt or whatever it is you're changing is going to show up. Now to give you a, a clear idea on what I mean by that, if I were to highlight this part of the shirt and color that part of the alpha black, that part of the shirt will disappear as you can see. And if I were to color the part of the shirt back in white, you can see that it shows up. 
And if I were to color this part of the alpha gray, the shirt is still there, but it's barely visible. It's translucent. So that is basically the job of the alpha. It's to let you control how much or how little of the shirt or whatever you're editing will show up. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to know about the alpha. Um, and now that I've shown you how to change the alpha pretty much, I'm going to show you guys a couple things so we can, so you can get a good grasp on using the alpha. So, let's start with just the black and white. I'm not going to mess around with gray because I hardly ever do gray with my alphas. And let's take our free selection tool or lasso tool, whichever you would call it. And this neckline right here, I'm going to change into a V-neck. So I'm just going to make a simple V-shape. And you just there you go, just make a V shape and color it in with black. Save. And now you just refresh. And as you can see, we have a very deep V line. And you can also see that I missed a small part, so let's just color that in because that's gonna bother me if I don't change it. <laughs> So now you can see that there's a v-neck. And I'm not really caring for these straps on my shirt either. So I'm going to take my rectangle select tool and just highlight the sleeves or the straps. <laughs> I'm going to do it on both sides of the shirt. And now we're going to save and refresh. And now our sim has quite a daring top on. Okay, so I was double checking something really quickly. <laughs> and let's say I wanted to give her shirt some kind of small design. I would take my paintbrush tool and I would make it kind of small till I now we'll do big dots. And now what I'm gonna do is here I'll just highlight the two parts of the shirt and I'll take my paintbrush tool and I will just put some black dots going along the shirt like so. Then I'll just do the back too. That is so uneven, but that's okay because it's a tutorial. So now we'll save again. And we'll go to Body Shop and refresh. And now you can see that her shirt has a strange, just translucent circles going through her shirt. And so yeah, there's not a whole lot more I can show you guys. Um, actually, if you guys are interested in learning how to make um, sleeves for your own shirt, like if you have a, um, a tank top like how this originally was and you want to add sleeves to it, I believe I've made a tutorial for that and I will include the download link in the description box. And that's a little more practice for you guys with the alpha if you're interested in that. And later on, I'm going to show you guys how to make bracelets and stuff like that with the alpha. I didn't want to get into that because that's a bit of a more difficult process. So for right now, I just give you guys the basics on how to change your clothing around with the alpha. The alpha is really simple. It's just a matter of what you guys want to do with your outfit. And then you just go from there with the alpha pretty much. That's like the only easy way to describe it. 
anyways. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please um, let me know if you have any questions. Please ask away. I will be more than happy to answer them for you. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial as well. I hope this was helpful for you guys. And my part three to this tutorial shall be up very soon. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.